Weather Authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. A lot to talk about tonight as we transition from this pleasant weather to much more summer-like conditions later in the week and in the process deal with some showers and thunderstorms mainly later tomorrow night through the early morning hours on Wednesday. But today, after a little heat and humidity over the weekend, it felt really nice out there. Highs in the 70s area-wide, the humidity was down and it's going to be in that ballpark again tomorrow with a little more cloud cover. And right now, live first warning Doppler is all clear, but at this time tomorrow night, I'm going to be tracking a line of strong to severe storms just west of the tri-state that will be weakening as it moves our way, but still bring with it a threat for severe weather. But nothing like what they've been dealing with over the plains today. Now, this was a high risk from the Storm Prediction Center. That's the highest threat level that they issue. And all the parameters were indicating violent long track tornadoes Good news, it didn't really appear to happen. We had some tornadoes, but nothing that was in the EF4 or 5 category that we know of, and they weren't quite as numerous as had feared. Now, there still are tornado warnings this evening here in northwest Texas and then up in the Tulsa area, and still lots of severe thunderstorm warnings all the way up into southwestern Missouri. And, and even though all this is moving to the east-northeast, it will not impact us tonight and probably not tomorrow until we get into the late evening and overnight hours. So right now in Owensboro, a partly cloudy sky on our American RV Skycam looking down on the uh, riverfront. Our iMart Skycam out of downtown Evansville looking out towards the uh, Lloyd Expressway at a very comfortable evening. Temperature right now up at the airports at 61, and we don't have too much wind. And I North Northeast breeze at around 10 miles per hour and temperatures upper 50s to lower to mid 60s. And we're going to wind up generally in the 50s area wide by daybreak tomorrow, which is pretty much on the average for this time of the year. But that threat for severe weather does continue to our west with those tornado watches up from West Texas all the way up into southwestern Missouri. Here's some video from earlier this afternoon when those tornadoes were breaking out. And take a look at this. You don't see it all that often. But that is two tornadoes at once, and I believe that was in southwestern Oklahoma. Pretty photogenic storm here. I think this one was near Midland, Texas. But a lot of these hit in the very rural areas of western high plains. Nice and flat, very photogenic, but no significant injuries that I know of, although a few smaller towns were hit. And we also have video out of southeastern Kansas. This is near the, the town of Pittsburgh, Kansas. Damaging wind there may have been from a tornado, but it was across the border north of Joplin where some tornadoes were confirmed. So they certainly had issues out there, just wasn't quite as bad as we had feared. And it's going to refire tomorrow over Missouri. As we get back to the maps here, you can see all the storms right now. There are all your storm reports, and there are the tornado reports from Midland up through Oklahoma. But the high risk was right here. This was the bullseye. We got just one, two tornadoes. So that was a, a good news, a bust we don't mind seeing. So back here in the tri-state, we've got some mid to high level clouds. It's tomorrow night. Weakening line comes in, marginal to slight risk for severe weather. Damaging wind will be the main concern. Future Tracker keeps it partly cloudy overnight. Never really allows those storms from Missouri to get in here tomorrow morning. A few might get into Illinois before noon. That'll be about it. Otherwise, windy and a little warmer. Upper 70s to lower 80s tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, here we go with the main threat for us this week. 8 p.m., we're still quiet. By midnight, the leading edge is up to about Highway 45 in southern Illinois. And then by 3 a.m., it's beginning to fall apart as it moves into the Evansville area. This is a little weaker than the last run, and it really falls apart by daybreak Wednesday. Wednesday. We'll quickly see those come to an end. We see some clearing. It turns windy, warmer, and humid on Wednesday. Highs in the mid 80s. And then tomorrow night into Thursday, we keep it warm and humid. And at least a few more showers and thunder showers will be developing across the area. But we're not expecting those to be uh, severe. So for the overnight hours, Partly cloudy, low to mid 50s across the area, and then mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow. Windy, maybe a few showers and thunder showers in the morning over southern Illinois, mid 70s to around 80. That weakening line of storms comes in from the west late tomorrow night, winding down around daybreak. That's your 60% chance of rain on Wednesday. Most of the day is fine with some sun. Windy, warm, and humid, though, 85. A few more scattered thunder showers developing Thursday, a humid 87. And then as we head into the long holiday weekend, looking summer-like but not too oppressive, a little humid at times. Daily chances for a few showers and thunder showers. Best chances now appear to be on Sunday. 
will be windy. That'll be a factor if you want to get out in the boat. But all in all, by uh, Memorial Day tri-state standards, it's a pretty good-looking week. And we just have to get this line of storms through later tomorrow night. And right now, it doesn't look too bad. It will probably hold as a marginal to slight risk uh, for late tomorrow night. And then we'll just focus on a nice weekend. Yeah, that we can do. Yeah. Thank you, Wayne.